Hey! What's up? Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming at you with a very magical video. A video that has been requested time and time again over the last few months and it is ranking every single Lobby song in Fortnite. From worst to best, if you haven't caught on to the trend on this channel yet. Now, while not the most important thing in Fortnite, Lobby music is certainly a make or break thing to really just getting you in the mood to play Fortnite. There are some very terrible and unfitting songs for a Lobby screen. And um, to be completely honest with you guys, there's only one Lobby song that you're actually allowed to use. So make sure to watch all the way through because if you don't use it, I'm gonna be very disappointed in you. And lastly, before we do get into it, I just have one very important thing to say. Subscribe to the channel or I will light your house on fire. So topping out the lowest spots on our list, as you guys can see, is going to be the Christmas holiday music festive. Now this would be great to use if it were December, and even then, I, I, I'm still gonna probably judge you a little bit. Actually, the more that I hear the song and as it goes on, um, I really just start to realize that, that you would have to be very weird to set this as your lobby music. Come to think of it, I find it almost impossible to imagine any nine-year-old loading up their game of Fortnite and setting this to their lobby music. It's just not fitting for the theme of Fortnite, and are you really so festive that you need to use Christmas music? in your video game? Come on. Now our number 26 spot is the Floss remix called Squeaky Clean. Okay, listen. In early 2018, the Floss was, was cool. Middle of 2018, still popular, but, but it was getting less cool. But at this point, if you're using Floss, continually as your lobby music, I, 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 I truly have to question your sanity. It's just the same line over and over and over, and you, you've been listening to that for, for months now? How could anybody enjoy this in their lobby music? Stop, please, just, just for the, the sake of your community and your friends and family around you, please, just, just stop. Stop it. Now at number 25, as you can see, we have Get Funky. I gotta be honest, this doesn't really make me wanna get funky. The only thing I'm really gonna be getting from this song is, is ear damage, because it's actually quite abrasive on the ears. That bass just ain't it, and Disco is a much better groovy song than, than this one. So they made a trap drum remix of the Make It Rain song called Rainy Days. Also, pretty terrible. Kind of makes me want to pop a bottle of champagne in a club, and also kind of just makes me want to die. I, I don't know why this exists, and it's just really, really stupid. It just doesn't fit Fortnite, like, at all. And while this list is basically my own, I did actually go through the community's votes on all of these, and this one got a very low rating from the community as well as me, so I'm glad to see that we're all together and realizing that this is a pretty terrible song. So our 23 spots is Eerie, the Halloween-themed lobby music. Now this one is not quite as inappropriate and misfitting as festive, but it still just really misses the mark of what I think lobby music is supposed to be. Like it works for Halloween, I guess, but it's really just not what you should be going for with your lobby music. Now this was actually the lowest ranked by the community. I didn't think it was that bad, but I still do think it's that bad. The number 22 spot, as you can see on our list, is called Sweet Dreams. Nobody is having sweet dreams listening to this. Seriously. This just, this isn't it. This, this, this really, really isn't it. Yeah, I just, I had to listen to it again, but I, I, I really just don't like that one.
Okay, so 21 is Afterburner, and it's a lot. Like, I don't think that this one is necessarily bad. I just think that it's a lot. I mean, I guess it it's a lot of energy, and I guess that's good if you're wanting to get hyped up for a game of Fortnite. You know, you pop in, it's like, oh my god, here we go. And while it does definitely get you going, it doesn't really feel like it would get me going for a game of Fortnite. Maybe more so like I'm getting ready for an 80s aerobic exercise video, but definitely not Fortnite. Not Fortnite. By the way, I noticed some of you still haven't subscribed yet. The number 20 spot on our list is the final showdown. Honestly, a great composition, I gotta say, but again, kind of misses the mark of what lobby music is supposed to be. It's just really not what I want to be loading into. It's just way too overly cinematic and orchestral. It's intense and it, it, it's great, but it, it, it's going to give me a heart attack before I even see the first mech of the day. It's not bad, but it's, it, it's too much. At number 19, we have Disco. Now this is an old classic uh, remaster. It starts out exactly as you could expect from what it used to be, but it's got a twist. You hit that 20 second mark and oh my God, you get that soloed portion of the bass. It sounds incredible. Davey504, is, is that you working over there at Epic Games? Not really my favorite song, but I gotta say that bass line gets me every time. At number 18, we have Llama Beat. Like Llama Bell, but with a beat. Actually, no, the, 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 the dance has a beat too, so it's exactly like Llama Bell. I mean, it's exactly what you would expect, cowbell and all. Good, but uh, not my go-to for my lobby. I, I prefer it in a dance. So this next one on our list is called Marathon. It's the music from one of the lesser known or really cared for dances called Running Man. It's basically just a pretty super nice chill beat, which is good and I don't see anything wrong with it at all. Except for the fact that it's not our number one spot. So don't use it. Now our number 16th spot is B-Day Beats. Now this is the birthday song for the Battle Bus, which fits really well when you're on the Battle Bus, and not so well when you're not. Okay, what I'm trying to say is it, it just, I don't know, it, it doesn't really fit the lobby music for me. I mean, it's just its just a, a remix of Happy Birthday, and I don't know, I, just, I feel weird loading my game and just being like, oh, it, it's, it's not my birthday, but, but thank you anyways, Fortnite. So sweet of you. Nah, it's just, it's just a weird choice to set as your lobby music. At number 15, we have the glitter remix known as Sparkles. Now, I can't say that this is exactly my kind of music, but I gotta give respect to anyone that's gonna put this as their lobby music. Not my personal taste, but fair enough. At number 14 though, we've got a very similar song, which is Star Power. Like Sparkles, but the OG and much, much better. It's a little bit girly and a little bit wild, but come on, it, it's Star Power. How are you not gonna like Star Power? Not to mention, it's an OG. So number 13 is the remix of Orange Justice, which is now just Justice. It's lost its color. It starts so low and dark that you can't even tell it's Orange Justice until the beat kicks in. And then it almost feels like a bit of a Rick Rogues. You're like, ah, you got me. It's Orange Justice. Now while the floss has descended into the depths of the songs I never want to hear again, Orange Justice still I have a little bit of love for. I mean, I still think it's one of the best dances in Fortnite, but as a lobby song, it's just so-so. But if we're being completely honest, it sounds like something you'd use in a sniper montage more than your lobby. I 
I do have to give the people over at Epic a lot of credit on this one because they did do a really good job of remixing a song that was probably quite hard to remix. Okay, so number 12 is Best Buds, which was in the Season 9 launch trailer. It kind of feels like what Afterburner was trying to be, but way, way better. This is a super hype song. It feels like the 80s, and I just gotta say, well done, Epic. This one is very spicy and very hype. So at number 11, we have Default Fire, which is one of the two major laser songs. Now, this is certainly not as good as the other one known as Default Vibe, but I gotta give Major Laser credit on this one. It's kind of like a traditional EDM song with a drop, but very Major Laser E ish esque. Major Laser esque. But they actually do a really good job of incorporating the default dance into that song and making it sound alright. I mean, you do still have bits of the just glaring and very difficult to work with default dance, like, original song. But there's all sorts of bits in there that use that same melody and just make it sound completely foreign. And I don't mean from, like, another country foreign, but just not like the default dance music. Again, it's not as good as the other one, but I gotta give Major Laser credits. It's, it's pretty neat. Once you get to that drop, it's, it's clean and hardly reminiscent of the default dance. Okay, number 10, big one here is Choral Chorus. Dude, if you don't like this one, you you don't have a soul, okay? This one is so beautiful and peaceful and just spectacular. Now this again doesn't really fit the Fortnite lobby, but that's really because there's only one, one song that does. But again, compared to everything else on this list, I gotta say, it's pretty good. It's chill and happy and vibey, and I really just can't help but love this song. Just, just, just awesome. Love it. Yeah. Okay, so number nine is Ahoy. This makes me feel like I am about to go on a magical journey of fun and excitement. It's actually really not that bad. Maybe not the best song, but I think that this is very fitting for a lobby. It's not perfect and I won't ever use it, but again, there's only one thing on this list that you are allowed to use, so it's it's kind of really unfair for, for Ahoy and, and everything else on this list. Okay, number eight is Neo World. So this was made for season nine, and it's honestly gotta be one of the best lobby musics we've ever heard. This is where we're starting to actually get into some pretty good stuff. Loading it up, it's like, oh man, this feels like it was made for lobby music, because it is. Ah, it's super fitting, it's like chill, but kinda, kinda got a nice like adventurous vibe. Like, yo, we're, we're setting out to rip a bit of force. I like it, I like it a lot. For some reason, the community ranked this as the 23rd worst lobby song, and they're wrong. The community is wrong, and I'm right. New World is actually a pretty good lobby song. So number seven is Winter Circle. Now, I don't know what anyone is doing here using Winter Circle at the start of their game. I mean, come on, guys. Aren't we all pros at this point? We get wins every game. You don't need to hear this at the start because you're going to hear it after you win. Or, or, you know, probably not. Yeah, your dreams are probably going to be smushed by a, by a mech. But this is a pretty good one. While it doesn't really feel like Fortnite, it makes me feel like I am loading up into an entirely different video game. Maybe Apex Legends or something along the lines of that. Again though, very fitting for a lobby song and uh, I'm a big fan. Okay, now number six, we have OG bracket remix bracket. Do you see how it says OG? That's the good stuff. You see how it says remix? That's the bad stuff. Okay, what I want you to do with this with this song, I want you to take it, I want you to throw it in the garbage, I want you to get your little lighter out, set it on fire, take a poop on it, and just and just never think about it again. Okay, cool. Filthy imposter. How dare you? So 
So our number five spot is Saxy Groove. This is truly a classic. Nice pun in there, okay? It, whoa, guys, it, it's supposed to say sexy. I know, crazy, but it's a pun with a saxophone. No, it's, it's actually pretty good. This is a very nice, chill take on a very great dance. Um, and overall, I just I think it works out very nicely for, for both of these guys. Okay, number four spot is Default Vibe by Major Lazer. This one's fairly new and I had never heard it before, so going through to create this list, I didn't realize that it was a remix of the default dance. It's a default dance remix that doesn't remind you of the default dance. Well done, Major Lazer. You can tell that those are some real professionals that made this song because it just sounds great. If you try to look for it, you can hear the melody of the default dance, but it's subtle and really to the point where if you just played it to your friends, they wouldn't hear it. Honestly, overall, it's, it's a really great song. Okay, at number three, we've got Electrofied. So, if you're thinking of playing any spooky music come this October in your lobby, this is the one you should do. Well, actually, the one that you should still do is the number one spot on our list, but if you're thinking of anything else, I'll, I'll let it go for October. It's the Electro Swing, but as a lobby song. Ooh, ooh, it is, it is nice. It hits really nice. Oh, dude, y you got to admit, it's, it's, a, it's a really good one. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a spicy. This one is actually gonna get a certified zesty out of 10. Also, Roman, if you could edit the video to make my dancing look as least cringy as possible, that'd be great. Okay, that is right, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in at our number two spot, we have The Twist. It starts out with this amazing acoustic dub and then slowly transitions into the song we all know and love, The Twist. I love this because they kept it true to the original, but with a twist. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at our number one spot. The reason I had to take you through all of these last 26 spots is so you know exactly what not to play. It was those last 26 spots. There was only one acceptable song that you were allowed to play in your lobby, and that is OG Classic. None of this remix BS, none of these any literally other song ever. OG Classic, and that's it. Literally the OG, the first ever, and still to this day, it is the greatest. Nothing is ever gonna beat OG Classic. And ladies and gentlemen, that is actually going to be our list. Now lastly, before we end this, um, I am done my video, so you better subscribe quick because I'm on my way as soon as I finish this, okay? Hit it! In all seriousness, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for making it all the way through to the end. You already know what I want you to do, so do it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.